Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to episode 78 of my new account from scratch. So if you remember from the last episode, we did end off with a master clue scroll. Now I have just done this and we have the casket in the invent. Now it took me eight steps to do this and they were horrible steps. I'm hoping it's something good. Maybe like the bloodhound pet. Ah, wow, that is just shocking. 305k. Anyway, we did go and get ourselves a Slayer assignment as well. And I'm currently using Duridel as my Slayer Master just because I want to get some like DK's tasks and stuff. Uh, and obviously getting the area specific ones just isn't great for me at the moment. But I will be doing the odd task over at Konar. Anyway, we have Gargoyles to kill. And I really want to go and kill the Grotesque Guardian just because I've not killed him for a while and I want that pet. Plus we could do with getting ourselves some more Granite Dust as we have run out. And of course, we are doing Slayer with Cannonballs at the moment. So obviously getting that plus five max hit. Uh, or whatever it is will be very very helpful anyway enough rambling let's get into this video and hopefully we can get some decent loot at the grotesque guardians another thing i've been wanting to get for a while now is this brimstone ring i've heard really good things about it and at the moment it's just under seven mil which is actually really cheap oh it looks like it's going up in price let's see how much we got to pay for this again it's an investment on the account so i don't mind paying too much for it hopefully it buys for that perfect right now we have an incredibly good tribrid ring I honestly cannot believe how good the stats are on this. That's just amazing. Especially now we're going to do something as well, which requires more than one combat style. Uh, I don't need too much defensive stats, so obviously the Brimstone Ring is really going to help out. I'm pretty confident that the only item I ever get from these is Granite Gloves. Legit. Ah, well. We got some food as well, because stay here for a little while. Uh, the trips are going quite nicely. However, I do find this boss incredibly boring. Um, which is a shame, but hopefully we can do at least like a hundred more here. I want to get to at least 300 KC, so we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. But granite gloves. Hopefully we can get a Termaline core or something or the pet. As soon as I get the pet, I am out of here. I literally don't want anything else from this boss bar the pet, uh, unless we're going to go for completionists, of course, later on. But at the moment, I just want the pet. Well, I mean, there's another unique. Some more granite gloves to add to the bank. What are they? What's the, what's the, what's the drop rate in these? They are 1 in 250, and I think I've had like 4 in 250 kills. Oh, not all bad, eh? It's 600k. Why are they so expensive? Yeah, I'll take it. Damn, not bad. Just been done my Hispori for the day, and we got ourselves a second bottomless bucket. However, I did forget my seed, so I should go and bank and uh, go and plant another one. So how much is that? 1.5 mil. It is dropping dramatically. It was nearly 3 mil the last time I got it. Uh, yeah, I think we'll definitely go and sell that on the Granite Exchange pretty quickish, as well as getting our Kronos seed. I've not actually planted any of the Anima patches yet. I'm going to save them uh, up for a little while. And when I get loads of like Hespori seeds and stuff, uh, probably like 15 to 20, I'm just going to start planting them. And obviously when I start doing like farm runs again and stuff. But anyway, yeah, bottomless bucket. Not bad. Let's go and sell it. All right, so we managed to get ourselves a clue scroll from doing our gargoyles task. We did, oh, well, we managed to get to around about 300 KC before I gave up and got bored with grotesque guardians. One day we will get that pet. However, moved on to normal gargoyles and got ourselves a clue scroll. Now, I'm hoping that this contains some third age for us. Damn, that is a nice clue. Doesn't have any third age in it, but it is close to 1 million GP. Armadil page, uh, sorry, the Zamorak in page 3 and an Armadil page 2, plus a rune heraldic shield. Some third age lobsters in there. Nice. Not about a clue scroll. I'll take that. Managed to bag myself a hard clue scroll whilst I was doing an Anku task for Kona. I did get ourselves another key as well, so we're currently sat on 14 brimstone keys in total. Would be nice to uh, get those a little quicker. However, uh, even though I'm doing like a lot of Conar tasks at the moment, I don't seem to be getting many key drops, so I'm just getting unlucky, I think. I've also turned all my cannonballs into granite cannonballs. However, granite dust goes so quickly, so I'm starting to think that I'm going to have to do a lot more grotesque guardians tasks. But hey, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyway, let's open up this hard casket, and we get a master clue scroll. I'll, um, do I want to go and do that now? No, not really. I'm going to go do my Turaf task. And in true YouTuber's fashion, I did miss level, but we have just hit level 96 attack. Nice. And at the moment, we're killing Turafs because Kona just doesn't like us. And like I said, we didn't think ourselves... Well, sorry, we've not had ourselves a Brimstone Key yet. Uh, I know they're pretty rare. They're supposed to be rare, but I'm trying to get 100 of these bad boys, and it's going to take forever. Well, I ended up getting a hard clue scroll for my Turoff's task. So I decided I might as well go and do the hard and the master that I had sat in the bank. So as always, we'll open up the master first, just in case we do get a master clue scroll in the hard one. 
Not not bad to be fair. Nearly 500k. Didn't take me that long to do that one. Hard clue scroll. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> oh, one day I'm going to get something like incredibly amazing. But when that day comes, I don't know. Hopefully it's soon. Really soon. Again, we are back with a clue scroll casket. So, we got this whilst doing our Drake's task a little while ago. We've done a couple of tasks since then. However, I completely forgot this was in my bank. So, let's open up the hard casket and see what we're getting today. A measly 75k. Not, not great. However, we are going to head over onto the Iron Man for a little bit. And uh, maybe treat ourselves to some Winter Sod. Hopefully we don't die. Alright, scratch that. Turns out that we managed to bag ourselves a Hellhounds task in Tavly Dungeon, which means we can go and do the beautiful boss known as Cerberus. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully we can get some crystals. That'd be freaking awesome. Alright, well, we have gotten ourselves an elite clue scroll from Cerberus. So let's open up see what the casket contains. A bronze dragon helmet. But it all in total comes out to 73k, so I suppose that's alright. So I'm just chilling, casually doing my Slayer task, which is uh, Wyverns, or Fossil Island Wyverns, and we've legit just got back-to-back -back Magic Seed drops. Like, they're rare. I've just made 300k from this task already. I decided I'm going to start killing these guys, just because they're not much higher level than the normal ones, and obviously they've got the better drop table, as well as a higher chance of getting that uh, all-important Wyvern visage. So, yeah, hopefully we don't get absolutely wrecked now and die whilst we're recording this. Well, I guess that's me going back to Grotesque Guardians for a little while, which, to be fair, isn't too bad because we should be getting quite a high chance of Brimstone Keys. As well as that, we should, should, I say, get plenty of Granite Dust, which means we can carry on slaying using a cannon, which is going to be fantastic. And we're getting really close to our 400th Slay task. We just completed our 398th. This will be our 399th, and then we should get a giant point boost. I am looking forward to it. Currently sat with... Let's have a quick look. How many Brimstone Keys? 19 at the moment. So, uh, yeah, still a long way to go. Don't, like I said, I don't know how many I'm going to collect up on there. Probably going to sell this tab, maybe, but we'll see. If you guys want to see me open them at a specific, a specific number, even, just uh, drop a comment down below and let me know what, what, when you think I should open them. Level 85 fishing. Unfortunately, I've not been able to play the game that much this week. Uh, that's because I've had a funeral and stuff, so I've been a bit... Uh, distant from the game, so I do apologise that I haven't uploaded for a while. However, uh, we've just got 85 fishing, so it's been pretty nice to AFK and just chill this whilst I'm uh, playing on the hardcore at the moment. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to stay here for. Definitely not going to stay for another full level because that is way too much XP for me. I am just AFKing it. We did get ourselves an Elite Clue Scroll, so once I'm done here, I'll go and do that, and I'll show you everything that we do get from that casket. Okay, I may have underestimated how long I was going to stay here for. This is a new day. Uh, however, I did manage to stay here all the way until level 86 fishing. Uh, again, I'm staying here for a little bit longer. How long that's going to be, I don't know. So uh, we could be getting another level or we could be going back to Slayer. The next clip is a surprise to all of us. Right, that is it. I am done with fishing for a little while. So we did manage to get to 86 fishing and only 145k away from 87. However, I really want to go and do a little bit of Slayer. And obviously, we've got Guardians at the moment. Well, we've got Gargoyles at the moment. But I'm really going to go and do the Grotesque Guardians, considering we can kill them in the Slayer Tower, which is going to be amazing. So, um, yeah, whilst we were fishing, we got one of each type of clue scroll. So what I'm going to do is hand all of these in for a master clue and then go ahead and do that. Uh, so yeah, I'll join you back with the casket. All right, it's casket time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open up the master and get that hellhound puppy. Rip. Guess not today. Again, just nothing. Nothing too great from these clue scrolls. I, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Anyway, let's crack on and do this grotesque guardians task. We need some more granite dust. Can't believe it's been almost a week and I've been waiting to get this uh, level on recording and I somehow managed to miss it. But anyway, we just hit level 93 Slayer. So that means we can now kill the Smoke Devil, which would be nice. I think I can do the Western Providence Elite Diary now as well, which is freaking awesome. But yeah, like I said, I've been, been waiting for this one all week and I just happened to miss the uh, most important moment. An Elite Clue Scroll and a Dragon Med Helm in the same drop. That's going to be pretty freaking rare. I'm going to finish off this task that I've currently got, or sorry, this trip that I'm currently doing, and then I'm going to stop doing Grotesque Guardians for a little while. I think I'm just going to do like 50 each task, or each possible task that I can do, just because I really do not enjoy them. The only reason I'm doing this is for the pet. So uh, the sooner I get the pet, the better. Yeah. But anyway, 
elite clue scroll we can do after this. I've also got a hard in the bank, so I should be able to do them both at the same time and join you back with some beautiful caskets. All right, as always, I'm joining you back with the caskets. So we have a hard clue scroll. Let's open it up and we get ourselves a bandos page. Could have been a lot better. 34k is absolutely shocking from a hard clue scroll. So it's not going to be hard to beat that, is it? Come on, elite clue scroll. Another page, a Ceredomian one and a honorable blessing. Slightly better at 205k. Still not fantastic, but it will do so let's bank them real quick uh that needs to go into there and i'll put those into my scroll book so uh, as i mentioned before i'm done doing grotesque guardians for a little while we've got 2.4 thousand cannonballs there of granite cannonballs and i've still got like 5.6 k of granite dust there so that should do me for a little while i'm trying to keep this up as much as i can as well as trying to get that pet of course but i'm just at this point, i just kind of given up getting the pet. I absolutely hate that boss. <laughs> the more I do it, the more I hate it. Two pairs of granite gloves as well. We've not even had like a, a termline cur or anything. Although saying that, I'm pretty sure the drop rate is like 1 in 800 or something stupid like that. Like, what even is this? Like, a mystic robe top and a hard clue scroll. I mean, that's not that rare, I don't think. I mean, it's still pretty freaking rare. But I mean, we come from the uh, the big daddies of the grotesque guardians onto the normal gargoyles. To get this, don't forget we got the elite clue scroll and the dragon med helm. Now, do I go ahead and do this clue scroll now, or do I wait? I'm probably gonna wait to be honest. I can't bother going ungearing just to do a clue scroll. Uh, however, if we need to bank for any reason at all, which I don't think we will do, we'll do the clue. Otherwise, I'll join you afterwards with a casket. Now it is time for the most pogging clue scroll reward you have ever seen. Yeah, typical high clue scroll. Anyway, it turns out that we were on our, let's see if it says it here, 399th task, meaning one more will be our 400th. Hey, who'd have thunk it? I can count. Anyway, so I'm going to go and do this one at Kona, because of course you get more points at Kona. So this will be really interesting to see how many points we actually get here, because I have no idea. And I'm not going to look it up beforehand, because that just ruins our surprise. All right, advisor Grimar, mate. Let's collect the resources that we should have chilling in the kingdom. Not bad, 12,000 coal there, as well as 3,000 teat logs. Let's go to the bank and see how much that's going to be worth. So, I've got about 3 mil left in there, which I'm going to keep in there for now. However, I have just got myself a Drake's task. So, in order to do that, I probably need to get myself a Dragon Hunter Lance. And, um... I was kind of bored of my justicia. It was just sat in the bank doing absolutely nothing. I don't think I've ever actually used it for anything. So I just went ahead and sold it. So now I've got 100 mil cash. Now I really, really want the rapier. Um, however, I obviously can't afford it at the moment. It's closer to 200 mil. Now I could sell some gear in order to buy it. Like I could almost, I could sell my spectral uh, and a few other things. I just think it's going to be a huge upgrade on the account. Because obviously... Uh, it's like using a technical whip all the time without having to pay so much all the time. So I think it's a really, really good sort of investment to have on the account. However, for now, I'm going to have a think about what I can live without on this. And I'm just going to buy myself a Dragon Hunter Lance and then go ahead and do my Drake's task. So there it is, boys and girls. The Dragon Hunter Lance has been acquired. It does look kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. We got 450 points from that task. That was absolutely amazing. And we also managed to bag ourselves a hard clue scroll. So I think I'm going to go back to Duridel for a little while, just until uh, every 10th task, and then we'll go back to Kona, just because I really want to do stuff like DKs. So in order to do that, it's a lot easier to get like Dagonoff Kings off Duridel. Um, sorry, Dagonoff tasks where I can just do them anywhere um, rather than getting a very specific task that I have to do in a very specific location. Like, for example, now I'm going to go and kill some KBD. I might, I probably will go and kill the entire 42 at KBD. Just got another set of KBD heads. I'm pretty sure you can turn these into sold heads now by separating them, which is actually pretty cool. That's not bad. I will take that. Do you get three separate heads? I don't know. I might just collect them for a little while. It's kind of nice to have them in the bank. Calfight is our next layer task. Not bad. I am actually going to go and do Calfight Queen. Uh, I've not done it for a little while. So this could be interesting, but yeah, it'd be nice to go and do some KQ. So uh, I completely forgot as well. I never did that clue scroll that's in the bank. So I'm going to go and do the hard clue scroll first, and uh, then we'll go and do some Calfight Queen. Don't know how many we'll kill just until I get bored, but I'm not going to do the entire task there because that would take far too long again. It's just one of those pets that I really like and I would love to get on this account if possible. Are we going to be looking from this hard clue scroll casket? Ooh, room plate legs G. I mean, it's not lucky, is it, I suppose, but hey, it's something. It's a unique item that is only obtainable via the Grand Exchange or oh, Clue Scrolls. Yeah, it's not that great, is it? Anyway, let's go and head over and kill some Calfight Queen. Been doing some KQ, got myself an elite Clue Scroll. Let's open up the casket, see what we're getting. We got ourselves a master. 
Good job as well, because that is a crap Elite Clue Scroll. But I am going to go ahead and do the Master straight away. Master Casket time. Nope. I was saying that it is worth nearly 700k. I take it that's coming from the Onyx Bolts Enchanted. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. I've been AFKing at Rune Dragons for a little while, just trying to build my bank up a little bit. Uh, I still have that Calphite task, I just cannot be bothered doing any more Calphite Queen, but I don't want to skip it, uh, as I do eventually want to do Calphite Queen, so... Uh, rather than just skip my task and do the normal Calphites, I thought, let's go and AFK a little bit. Now we've got this Dragon Hunter Lance, it's time to make it pay for itself. So I sold my Hasta, uh, and I'm going to keep this for a little while. I might end up just keeping it full time. Uh, but anyway, let's open up this Elite Casket that we've got in our inventory. 136k. Let's have it on in page one. I'm not even going to complain anymore.